Hello again, YouTubers. I'm SpongeBob11 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with part 8 of our SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. Let's get started right away. We lost left off here in Bikini Bottom. I'm gonna collect all the different things that we are supposed to be uh, collecting right here. I'm gonna, you know, schedule a couple more of them and then we'll head back to New Kelp City. So, uh, let's go to New Cup City here and uh, take a look. Now, I'm trying to speed things up by doing more things off camera. Um, and, uh, yeah, basically just see how quickly we can progress through this game. All right, we have a really nice bubble wand here. And it is called a bubble blower. All right, so we are going to be able to make giant bubbles. And in order to get giant bubbles, we need bubble soap, of course. Totally makes sense, doesn't it? So yeah, good thing. Just so happens that the bubble soap is just surrounding us around this giant bubble wand. So we can do that. And I am going to speed it up and collect it right away. Wait a minute, what happened there? Okay, never mind. Bubble blower quest complete. Okay, do you like bubbles? Make more bubbles. All right, we have to make more bubbles. Uh, that means we need just a little bit more bubble soap for one more of that thing. Oh, it's right here. So why didn't I see that? All right, and then another one there. Wait, how many of these do we even have now? So we have, uh, where is it? One bubble, okay, we need one more. We need one more. And that means we should speed this up as well. Okay, and then now, wait a minute. This is a con job here. <laughs> All right, a little bit more bubble stuff. Where are we gonna get that? Um, just looking around here. I think we do have to clear a little bit more of the area in order to get that. Yeah, so basically, again, as I've said before, this game kind of helps you out by telling you roughly where the materials are and in this case it's actually right off to the corner along with some jelly beans okay another one of those and then spongebob says oh bubble poppin boys says hey it's look hey look it's the rectangle and his pink sidekick they're still snapping their fingers over there i am my own person thank you very much what do you guys want what do you mean what we want you asked us to do something right you wanted to <laughs> all right bad boys bad boys why is spongebob laughing in this um you know quest icon catch the bubble popping boys oh just like in the episode that's a good one though all right we really hate this like really it's important for you to know you know what it's important for me to tell you i don't care they'll learn them to take what isn't theirs what they'll teach them what what do you mean by they'll learn them now let's get this place fixed up. Okay, so now that the Bubble Poppin' Boys are still just there, I thought they'd be like floating away or something, but apparently not. So quest complete. Next up, oh, there we go. Finally, level eight, just in time for part eight as well. So we got another shack kind of thing there. A couple more decorations, which is great. Sugar, sugar. Plant a sugar cane and produce oyster feed. Okay, and what about this? Oyster Bedlam. Okay, so it does have to do with oysters. Restore the comic shop. We do need a bandana. Where can we get that? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got a bandana. <laughs> nice. And then a wooden board. There we go. Near Mint Comic Books is done. We just tapped on that little box. So apparently the boxes are, or the closed boxes are free stuff as well, which is cool. Restore the comic shop quest complete. And then there's more cleaning to be done. Unlock the area, remove debris. Okie dokie. So let's quickly remove more of this debris here. Not that one, so we had to go around. Uh, it kind of is like New Kelp City, huh? You got to clear all of this random junk. And then over here, let me get, see, so yeah, walking through random people's yards as well. Gary gave, gives us some energy as well. Okay, so we get to go around the uh, rope block there. And phone booth, is that a free item? No. I'm, tr I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm trying to see what is a free item. Okay, so that thing is gone. Oh, Squidward. Squidward's here. Look, SpongeBob, it's Squidward. I never thought I'd be so happy to see you two. Well, Squidward is smiling wide there. 
Uh, thanks? I thought you'd be a little bit more, you know, jolly, Patrick. What's happening, Squidward? I was going for a drive in the boatmobile and now I can't find it and my clarinet was inside. Squidward, that's terrible. Let us help you. Man, Squidward should be afraid of those words. Really? Well, lay on Max Sponge. Sorry, I'm not getting the joke there, or whatever he's saying. Follow us. Yeah, I don't even understand you, and I'll help. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Patrick here. I don't understand what he was saying. Okay, so quest complete on that one. And Squidward's clarinet. All right, I guess we don't have to do the oyster thing just yet. So that's great. We need to head all the way over there to that building, which means it's time to clear out the uh, obstacles here. Okay. Again, I'm still looking for free stuff. Oh, Gary has a uh, update on the energy. So the cool guys are back. Crystal Dave. Hey, square dude and pink guy. What's up? Hey, we're trying to clean the new kelp city. What? We're trying to clean the new kelp city? If you want to help, if you want my help, you can bring be some cool stuff and you'll get, you will get cool. Role. I'm getting all jumbled up. You're just trying to read this. Uh, alrighty, if we see any cool stuff, we will be sure to let you know. So I guess they recycled the dialogue for this, which is perfectly fine. Wait, so if we get the shirt, we exchange it for treats and coins. That doesn't sound like a deal to me. I'd rather keep the cool stuff. Okay, so I digress here. Now let's keep moving. We've got a little bit more energy. Oh, an exploding pie. We do need a lot of gems though, so I don't really want to use that. I'm pretty sure we don't have to, so can we just like clear everything? What happens if we just leave it in a path? Then again, you know, once we're done with New Kelp City, we'll just move out of here, so it doesn't really concern us whether that thing is in the ground or not. So yeah, all right, we've got that clear. I think this is where we need to be. Oh, whoa, that's a limousine. Oh no, the boat mobile. The boat mobile. The boat mobile. What tragedy has befallen you, my sweet chariot? That doesn't look like his boatmobile at all. Don't get in a tizzy, Squidward. We can fix it and rescue your clarinet. I mean, does that mean that Limousine just like ran over the boatmobile or something? And the box for his clarinet is on the side too. If you did that, I would be your best friend for a day or less. I wouldn't make that promise, Squidward. I wouldn't make that promise at all. You boys did a wonderful job. Why, New Kelp City is looking like an even newer Kelp City. Good one, Mr. Mayor. To thank you for all your hard work, I want to present you with a key to the city of this dump town. <laughs> I'll throw that key in the trash. Well, that's quite an honor, sir. Well, I said I want to, but I'm all out. So here's a key to Bubble Town instead. Oh, well, that's nice too, I guess. You guess it's not. SpongeBob, look over there. So we have some sort of fossil thingy? Those footprints and a lump of seaweed? Wait a minute, how is that seaweed? I'm looking at it real close, it looks like some coral and a fossil. Okay, that's not just any seaweed, that's Atlantisma dig digitata. What? I know things. What? <laughs> what? Well, you know what that means, Patrick. Do I? Well, I'm sure Patrick doesn't. We're going to Atlantis. To the boatmobile. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Well, that's the first time Squidward's been so helpful, huh? Okay, so we get that. We, we rescued his clarinet here. The dream car. Quest complete. And then Squidward's clarinet. Quest complete. Crystal Day's music. Quest complete. Well, I mean, that was a free quest, I guess. Just talking to him. Return Squidward's clarinet. Okay, so we just return it there. You receive Squidward Avatar for helping him return his clarinet. Let's see it. Okay, so choose Squidward Avatar. Save. Continue the journey to reveal mystery story and unlock new awesome avatars. Man, it was like, sorry, the game ends here for now. <laughs> Come back next time. All right, so I guess we are not done just yet. Uh, quest complete for that. And then clear the path. Wait, why do we need to, why do we need to clear that? I mean, couldn't we just get into Boatmobile or something? What else do we need to clear here? We need to clear the stuff on the sidewalk? Why? Why do we need to do that? Is his Boatmobile like inside the sidewalk or something? Or do we need to drive on the sidewalk or something? 
I don't see what we're doing with this. <laughs> it doesn't even lead to the council. This might be a bug. Well, let's see. Let's just check again. Okay, this is not necessarily a bug. It requires us to remove very specific debris. So just those three bins, I think. All right, quest complete. Sugar oyster bedlam treasure hunters collect treasures. Oh well, um, that was helpful. <laughs> Okay, let, let's just collect all those newspapers and I think we should be done here. I saw one over that side, so we can just collect that real quick. Another one there is in Kelpo, the bin. Nope, that's not one of them. Okay, and then over here, there was a one of these. And then... Wait, where's the last one? Okay, let's click this, go. Oh, it's right here in this corner. Alright, so we're done with that. Quest complete. And I actually want to go back to the SpongeBob avatar. I mean, it doesn't have any impact because they're still following you, as you can see. So now we have four characters in total uh, SpongeBob, Patrick, Gary, and now Squidward. So it doesn't seem like we can clear that. So I guess we just have to go to Atlantis by tapping this. Now, again, once we go to the next zone, we can't actually go back. Um, after 48 hours. So we only have 48 hours when we start a new area. So what I think I'm gonna do here, Atlantis awaits, we'll do that in the next part. Uh, what I want to do now is go back to Bikini Bottom and build that Oyster Bedlam or Oyster Farm, all right. Now I do need to clear a little bit of land here because uh, it's kind of messy as you can see. Well, uh, very, <laughs> very, very messy. So let's clear this real quick and try to make space for the oyster farm thingy. Okay, we opened up a path here. Maybe I can like build it on the corner. Uh, these corals are in the way in the sea flower, so I totally forgot to zoom in here. So yeah, just let you guys take a look. Now into the store. 2400 coins well i guess it does fit in this area which is nice and then oops wrong one so now we need to buy an oyster in the market and we can put it over here okay quest complete the last quest uh, before we go over to atlantis is produce oyster feed which is right up here and let's make that oyster feed we need some sort of Atlante. Uh, wait, is that the Atlantean crystals? No, sugar cane. We just need sugar cane. Okay. <laughs> man, I'm just I'm overestimating this game. Like, man, they're gonna give us crystals from Atlantis like right now. So this is gonna take five minutes. Um, I'm gonna speed up everything. Should I? I don't really wanna speed up everything. Let's see if we have enough. Over. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, we need two out of five. All right. I think I made a mistake, like, speeding it up. How long is that going to take to recharge? Or uh, the Sandy's fertilizer. You know what? Let's just do it. For once. I mean, I'm going to regret it later, but, you know. Let's just try to finish this before ending up the video. Okay, so we do have enough of the sugar cane, which means we're going to produce that. We're going to speed that up. And we got one of that. Plant sh Oh, well, we, well, we need to plant the sugar cane as well, which means I still have to wait. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna take four minutes. I'm gonna cut to once we're done with that and then we can move on. But before that, I do wanna go into the shop and take a look at the new uh, items here. We got a bamboo lamppost as well as a clock. Pretty cool. Again, I'm saving up the coins for, you know, building up bikini bottom all at once i do want to like do it in like a um, haphazard fashion i mean i am playing the game in a haphazard fashion since i'm only clearing land in bikini bottom that i need to use right now so we're, we're gonna do a lot of redecorating in bikini bottom soon but uh till then of course we're just gonna have to you know work with the space and just follow along with the story okay i'm gonna cut to uh, once we're done with the sugar cane Oh, by the way, while we wait, actually, I decided to uh, fix up Squidward's and Patrick's houses. So let's do that right now. We have uh, Forever Glue, so this requires eight of the Forever Glue. 
that's clean up Squidward's and another eight for Patrick's. So yeah, now we have a clean rock and Easter Island head with no function at all. So as you can see, I'm tapping here, or you can't really see me tapping, but I'm tapping on them. And the only thing that actually opens up, you can see again, if I tap on the pineapple, yeah, uh, SpongeBob's collectibles, but the rest of the, the other two houses don't actually have any function. So I roughly showed this in the, one of the previous parts, but now since we have to wait, let's just quickly take a look. So we have the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy memorabilia. Uh, basically collecting these allows you to exchange for rewards here. We've got a workout room, the bathroom, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy collectibles, living room, board games. Oh, that's actually pretty helpful. We get the um, sandy fertilizer immediately, the bedroom, and a kitchen. So let's redeem the uh, sausage in a box. I can't remember what it was called, but it was basically like a drinkable, ah, uh, drinkable sausage, right? It was called drinkable sausage. Okay, now that we have that, we don't have to wait. Oh wait, yeah, we, we do have to speed up two of them. There we go. Okay, let's wait one more. Okay, fine, got me. I can't wait for 30 seconds. Okay, quest complete. There we go. All right, so the next quest is just Atlantis awaits. So in the next video, we are gonna be heading over to Atlantis. Till then, make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next SpongeBob video coming real soon. Till then, guys, see you later. Bye.